Hi YouTube, I'm Dr. Harb, a board certified dermatologist and skin cancer surgeon with specialized training in high risk tumors and advanced reconstruction. Today we are going to talk about fasting and calorie restriction, its effects on your skin metabolism and why I recommend it for the patients in my practice here in Miami. Over 100 years of research exists in regards to the health benefits of fasting and calorie restriction. Humans, monkeys, rats, mice, no matter what animals were studied, all have similar metabolic adaptations that affect every organ system of the body. Fasting for 10 to 14 hours typically depletes the body's entire reserves of stored carbohydrates known as glycogen. This stimulates the movement of fatty acids from our fat reserves to the liver where they're refined and converted into fuel so that the rest of our body can use it. During this process, other organs such as the muscles, heart, intestines, brain are all activated to improve stress resistance, performance, and greatly reduce unnecessary processes such as excessive protein production and cellular division. Collectively, our cells engage in the processes of growth, plasticity, and conservation that enhance its defenses against stress or damage, but also improve cellular energy efficiency and help the cells survive much longer. Let's switch focus and talk about the research and what it says about the effects of calorie restriction and fasting on skin biology and skin cancer development. Keep in mind that most of the studies are done on mice, rats, and non-humans, so the generalizability of the findings is always debatable. Let's talk about fasting and skin structure. One study showed that calorie restriction improved epidermal thickness, skin blood supply, and even thickened the dermis, which is the deeper layer of the skin. It was shown that proteins such as the vascular endothelial growth factor help promote blood vessel growth, leading to stronger, thicker, and more supported skin at the end of the studies. Interestingly, higher hair follicle growth and increased hair follicle stem cells were also noted, which led to thicker and longer fur coats in the calorie-restricted mice. In another study, fasting mice who were exposed to ultraviolet radiation developed thicker epidermal layers and fewer wrinkles, likely due to accelerated levels of a protein known as PCNA, or Epidermal Proliferating Cell Nuclear Antigen. Slower wound healing and lower collagen 1 production was also observed in animals that ate freely versus those that fasted. So let's talk about fasting and skin stem cells. The changes in the skin stem cells have been implicated primarily in aging, and particularly because they're essential for the maintenance and repair of the skin from day to day. Yet, different parts of the skin have different stem cell populations, such as the hair follicle stem cells that grow your hair, the melanocyte stem cells that give your hair and skin color, and the interfollicular stem cells that help your skin heal when it's damaged. All stem cell populations decline with aging, and this is accelerated by ultraviolet light from the sun. In three separate studies, however, calorie-restricted animals were shown to have increased stem cell regeneration, expanded numbers of stem cells in the epidermis and hair follicles, and also showed stronger resilience to tissue stress. Let's talk about fasting and its effect on cancer development. It was over a century ago that two scientists, Mareshi and Roos, first described the beneficial effects of fasting and calorie restriction on tumor development in animals. Since then, numerous studies agreed that fasting can not only restrict the development of cancer tumors, but also increase the sensitivity of these tumors to treatments such as chemotherapy and radiation. This is possibly due to cancer cells not being as resilient to energy metabolism changes or insults or stressors compared to normal cells. By restricting fats and carbohydrates, fasting delays the rate and reduces the development of papillomas and skin cancers from ultraviolet light in animals. This obviously has possible correlations to humans because we also have human papillomas from HPV and skin cancers that develop from not only HPV but also from ultraviolet light. Fasted mice showed lower levels of gene expression of the HRAS gene and also lower levels of cell signaling pathways such as PI3K, AKT, and MAP kinase, all of which are extremely crucial and seen in several different human skin cancers. There are ongoing trials currently listed on clinicaltrials.gov that focus on intermittent fasting in patients with breast cancer, ovarian, prostate, endometrial cancer, and even brain cancers such as glioblastoma. Although the regimens vary among the different studies, all involve fasting during chemotherapy to help enhance an effect, and no study has yet determined how calorie restriction can affect cancer recurrence in humans. 
conditions. Although the regimens vary among the study, all involve fasting during chemotherapy, and no study has yet to determine how fasting or calorie restriction could affect cancer recurrence in humans. I hope you enjoyed that video into subject matter. Please like, subscribe, and share with those who you think might be affected, and drop a comment below. I'd be curious to hear what your impressions are, and looking forward to the next video. Take care, YouTube.